Okay, are you ready to witness the future of software engineering? I'm Anthony, I'm what people call a senior software engineer, and today I will be pairing with ChatGPT the AI that everyone is talking about. Today we'll be coding a fully functional website, and maybe even become besties, who knows? But the real question is, can ChatGPT replace me as a software engineer? I guess there is only one way to find out. So sit back and have fun watching me justify my six-figure salary. Don't forget to click on this subscribe button. It's gonna be a crazy ride. Oh, and by the way, this intro was partly written by ChatGPT. Okay, so for this experiment, I want to create a basic to-do list app using only GPT-3 as documentation or help. The tech stack we'll be using is Next.js for the backend and the frontend, and also we'll be using MongoDB for the database. For the database, I have a MongoDB instance that runs in a Docker container. And okay, let's get started. So I really want to start using Next.js with TypeScript, so I will ask GPT-3 to do that. Or oh, can I create a Next.js app with the TypeScript templates. I want to use the template to go much faster. Okay, so it gives me the right answer. It actually give it actually gives me the full tutorial on how to, how to start by using the create next app TypeScript template. So I will do it straight away. So I will do that. I will just rename my app to to do. So now it's just like taking a lot of time to install all the library and everything. And in the meantime, I will ask GPT-3 write a Next.js API endpoint in TypeScript that connects to a MongoDB instance and do and do create variations of a to-do list app. That's pretty specific. I'm not sure if we will be able to speed out all the code for that, but I'm really curious. So it already starts by uh, managing all the connection to MongoDB. That's insane. It really understood what I was saying. Uh, it uses TypeScript. It actually connects to the MongoDB uh, database there, and it separates the uh, actions by the method what is being used um, to call them. So I, I think it's pretty, pretty accurate. And then it gives me a tutorial, a full-on tutorial on how to use the code. Uh, make sure to replace username, password, uh, in the default spot when all different. It actually explains the code it did. But for me, that's like tutorials on steroids. Uh, I mean, I didn't have to check anything. I didn't have to kind of like check for how to create an API route, how to connect to MongoDB uh, DB instance. It basically gathers all the those knowledge and, and speed out the code like that. So I will just copy uh, this code. I will also open my Visual Studio code there. Let's just check if it works. Uh, local host. Okay, so now I have my ba basic Next.js uh, app. So I will just delete the basic code there. There we go. So I must have a, <laughs> a black page. Okay, fair enough. And now we'll create the new uh, API root. So I will rename hello to uh, to do, and I will just replace the whole code. Okay, so what's missing now? Uh, okay, I need to install the MongoDB library. Install MongoDB. Do I have some bugs there? Ooh, okay. Uh, will be const uh, to do equal async export default to do. There we go. I will fix uh, the TypeScript issues. I guess what's happening there is okay, maybe it uses the old version of MongoDB and this one doesn't need to those parameters anymore, so I removed them. The thing is that GPT-3 has been trained with old data, so if the technology evolves, it might be a bit outdated. So this is maybe why I have some um, issues there. Okay, so now we have the basic to do CRUD operations. So I will make sure to have the right, in my case, it will be slash to do. So this is the, this is to connect to the local instance of MongoDB. Uh, collection name, it will be to do's maybe. Yes, it will be to do's. Okay, so I have, <laughs> okay, so now I guess I have a typing. Uh, I have title, description and completed. So this is the schema I will need to follow, I guess. Okay, so now I will, I will ask ChatGPT to create the typing. Can you get me the types, the TypeScript types? for the to-dos, uh, to-dos associated to this endpoint. Ah, oh, Okay, so I, I have to face a lot of error because ChatGPT is a lot down. I don't want to lose uh, too much time on that. Uh, so the typing, I will keep using that one, uh, which makes sense. So I will just create a type. I will create export type to-do to go to that. Oops, sorry. Okay, so title, title will be a string, uh, description, actually, I don't, we don't even need we don't even need the description. I will remove that, and this can be a boolean. 
Okay, so I will make sure to remove a description there. Okay, post completed. Okay, it put it default to false because we just put it, we just created it, so it just makes sense. Okay, so I think we have something that does make sense. Uh, if I do collection name collection, so the to do collection. I think if we do that, it works, isn't it? Ooh, nice. Okay, so okay, so now we have a fully typed uh, to-do endpoint, which is quite cool. Honestly, honestly, it really did work quite well. Uh, if you don't take into consideration the fact that uh, the website uh, GPT-3 was down for a minute. Okay, so now that we have a fully functional backend, where well, I will start to do the front end. So uh, to do that, I will just ask GPT-3 once again: Can you create a to-do page for a Next.js app written in TypeScript? Okay, let's check that. Okay, so it gives me a, a basic to-do list page. So it, it, it created a form with a basic input uh, with a button. So if you click on the button, it adds the to-do uh, to the local state, uh, which is quite insane to me. So I will just uh, copy the code once again. I will put that into uh, my index. So keep in mind, this is not the prettiest code. This is not what we're looking for there. We're just looking to uh, be assisted by uh, ChatGPT to go as fast as possible to create something. So I won't be using uh, this interface because it's not the good one. I will uh, import the one from the API and I will replace task by yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, so I fix all the typing. So now we have a front end that corresponds to the back end in terms of, ta of typing. So what do we have? Uh, okay, so I have, uh, I have the input, uh, hey, and it, it works. I have a fully functional uh, to-do list. The, the thing with that is that first, it's not connected to the back end just yet, and the styling is pretty pretty bad. So I will ask ChatGPT to style this component. Maybe, uh, can you please style this page to make it make it nicer. I like dark designs with a centered uh, centered layouts. Okay, that's it. Nothing, uh, nothing else is needed. So let's check. Oh no, I can try again. So let's try again. Please don't fail this time. Okay, so uh, to make to make it maybe simpler, I will be just be asking to use uh, simple CSS because it started to use like style components, and I think it was maybe too much for the system to handle. So let's check what's possible. It actually straight away does something cool. Is that uh, if you check, the background color will be dark and the colors will be white. So it will be it will be actual dark design, which is. Uh, I think quite cool. I'm really curious to see what will be the end styling of it. Uh, so it just gives me some styling, so I will just add it to the global uh, design. Let's see how the website looks like. It's insane, look at that. <laughs> it did exactly what I asked for. So it's styled, uh, it's using dark mode, so it, it could have been uh, darker, darker than that, but you have the fully functional uh, to-do list if you click like that. I really like it, you can see that it goes um, uh, the text is being struck through. Okay, so now I will go. I will ask GPT-3 to go even deeper and to connect this front end to the back end. Uh, I'm not really sure to write that down, but we'll make sure that this page is connected to the API endpoint slash API slash to do, which is a HTTP HTTP endpoint which accepts CRUD CRUD operation for the to dos. You can use post, put, delete, and get methods. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I actually understand that. If this is the case, I, I, I guess for this part, I will need to do a lot of. Uh, moving pieces myself, but let's let's check. Okay, so we use this fetch, which is quite uh, correct, I guess. Task completed. So he adds an ID. Okay, that's really interesting. We are, sorry, we have a state with to-dos, we have a state with new to-dos, with loading, with errors. Okay, that's really interesting. So it actually calls the right APIs to get, it actually gets the to-dos. It will display the to-dos and display a message if there's anything. Okay, that's really interesting. Wow. That's insane. It really works well. It will use get to fetch the to-dos. It will use post to actually create a new to-do. To go completed. And maybe if he uses put, it would be insane. Oh, fetch. Oh, no, no, no. That's it. <laughs> no, okay, yes. To-do ID. So I think this one is not the right, uh, correct one. Maybe we will maybe need to, to change a bit that. But insane. Okay, so far, so far, so good. It creates all the right method. Okay, I will copy that because sometimes it just bugs. So <laughs> I don't want it to bug anymore. Uh, so I will uh, create that. So I will change this part. Okay, 
comes and dulcimates with effects, reacts. Okay, so it uses the right typing. Uh, this is uh, as any, so I'm correcting everything and dulcimates what's happening. Okay, I fix this. Uh, uh, sorry, this is uh, any uh, true, but I must change this to do. This can have an ID, a string. Okay, okay, same here. Any, say maybe here, yeah, no, no, and I'll delete. Yeah, any as well. Okay, so let's, load, let's now check what it generated for the rest of the page. I ah, see there's a bug there. So let's display the error. If there's any, oh, sorry, this is not what I wanted to do. Let's do that. Okay, so it displays an error. If there's an error, uh, add to do. So now, now we should be able to add a to do, aren't we? API to do post, and this is not task. This is string. Oh, this is sorry. This is title. This is title completed false. Um, is it using task anywhere else? No. Okay, so let's try that. Uh, if oops, doc, doc type is not a valid JSON. Okay, what's what the? Okay, so it calls. Uh, okay, it's called API slash to do, and that's a get. So there's obviously a bug with the MongoDB uh, setup. So what's the problem there? Uh, MongoDB. So this is the right names. This is the right uh, database in Mongo. Okay, let's try maybe to restart everything. To do spam, to do that map is not a function. Okay, so I think it works better now. Uh, long. Yeah, it works better now. I just had to restart. Uh, to do dot map. This is because I guess this can be undefined uh, because maybe there is no to do. So uh, I will do that. Whereas the gold, the old trusty. Uh, console log method to, to debug and this will be data instead. Let's check what's up. Okay, let's check uh, what's uh, returned there. Come on. Okay. Authentication failed. What? And this is a test database collection name to do. Okay, is it working now? Okay, so now it's working. So that wasn't ChatGPT's fault. It was because I misconfigured the, the URL. So now it's getting data from the API, this actual API, and you should be able to do add a test one. Let's try to add. Okay. So now if I refresh, yes, I have it. I have it here. So it means that uh, if I goes into my uh, go into my database, uh, this one to do, I have one object, this one, amazing. Uh, and if I complete it, so I know that I know that um, GPT-3 did the wrong thing there. It assumed that I had um, this endpoint, but this is not the case. So this is not the right thing. Uh, and I'll delete and I'll complete. I think I will do complete. Uh, and then it will be the end of the experiment. It will be like already quite nice. So um, uh, IPI to do, to do, uh, bam, bam. Uh, there it's missing the actual ID. No, so this is already done. So if I go to the to do there, I go into the put, uh, I'm expecting an ID. This ID will be used to delete it and to put it as completed. So now I think that's it. So if I uh, refresh, I click like that. And when I refresh, okay, so it, it actually deletes it, but it, it's not, it does not complete it. Uh, why? What is that? Okay, so I actually found the bug. Uh, this was a silly bug because of the typing. I was uh, I was expecting a typing like that, but actually MongoDB uses uh, underscore ID uh, types. So I just fixed that and I fixed the rest of the code and now everything is working fine. So I can do a quick demo. Uh, you can add new uh, to do like that. Uh, okay, you need to refresh it. This is not the, this is not the perfect code, okay? Uh, if you actually click on them, you toggle them, and if you refresh, yeah, everything was saved into the database. Uh, you can check that. And okay, everything is there. You can see it's completed. So basically, I was able to uh, go quite fast uh, with that, without really using the documentation. So I had to Google from time to time uh, because I think the way GP, uh, ChatGPT is trained, um, I think it was trained about two years ago. So sometimes the documentation is not really up to date. 
Um, so I think that was one of the issues uh, I faced. Uh, also, ChatGPT is quite slow and quite buggy for now. I know it's a new technology, so I'm not blaming OpenAI for that. It's really, it's already crazy what they achieved. Um, but sometimes what happens is there's a bug, so you lose all the context of your conversation. And this creates bug because GBT3 won't have the all components or the whole page created before for you. So if you want to if you want to iterate upon the code they already generated for you, it's really really complicated. Okay, so what's my final thoughts? Will ChatGPT replace us as software engineer? Well, I don't think so. Um, this is really impressive. Uh, this thing was able to generate a full Next.js uh, app by itself. Uh, at typing, at logics, um, it was really, really impressive. But the way I see it for now is it's kind of a documentation on steroid. Uh, I was able to ask questions. It was explaining me things given the project I'm actually doing. And I think this is the strength of ChatGPT. But in the real world uh, use case, you, you wouldn't be able to really use that. Just imagine building a really highly complex system. There's too much moving pieces, and this thing is not really there to think through systems. Uh, it's kind of like displaying logical stuff that has been done before, but most of the time it won't be able to do anything for you. You, you will have to guide it to have a really good result. But it's really super impressive. I'm amazed by this technology. And if you are too, I actually made a video where I connected GPT-3 to my Tinder account. So if you want to know more about it, and if you want to know how I've done it, everything is open source and I'm explaining everything in this video. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, subscribe, like it if you feel like it, and I see you on the next one. Bye-bye.